He was one of the Liberal Party's most senior MPs and a leading figure in national politics. But Cyril Smith was a serial paedophile who abused dozens of young boys and was never prosecuted. Tonight, new evidence has emerged revealing how MI5 and Special Branch buried his crimes. An investigation for Channel 4's Dispatches programme tonight has uncovered a police file which accuses him of a sordid series of indecent episodes with young boys. It was handed to prosecutors, but then hidden and locked away for more than four decades. Smith went on abusing for years. It asks further questions about the way the Liberal Democrats handle such scandals. So soon after this programme revealed sexual harassment allegations against the party's former chief executive, Lord Renard. Liz McKean has this exclusive report. <laughs> Cyril Smith was a celebrated figure who wooed the voters. He was Rochdale's Liberal MP during the 70s and 80s. His popularity made him one of the country's most high-profile politicians. Smith's name resurfaced last year during the Savile scandal, which led to a re-examination of the way sex abuse cases are handled and their victims dealt with. The Crown Prosecution Service admitted the MP should have been charged in his lifetime. A film for Dispatches tonight will show just how many opportunities were missed to stop him. A striking feature of Smith's case is that many of his victims complained at the time. One who first spoke to police nearly 50 years ago says the lack of action has driven him to speak out publicly. So then I was stood there naked and towards him. He looked me up and down. And he ran his hands all up and down my thighs and inside my legs and, and touched my private parts. As a teenager, Kevin Griffiths lived at Cambridge House, a hostel set up by Smith in Rochdale, supposedly to help boys in need. It wasn't right. I know it wasn't right, but I couldn't do nothing about it. This former detective, Jack Tasker, was one of the first police officers to investigate Smith. He was convinced of his guilt. He denied the sexual content and said to her, and he said, well, there might have been a little bit of chastisement for things he'd done wrong. Uh, and we asked him to explain that. He said, a, a, a smack. From what you've said, either Cyril Smith was lying or the eight victims at Cambridge House. Were lying, yes. I didn't think they were lying. Lancashire Police carried out several investigations in the late 1960s and compiled this 80-page file, kept from the public until tonight. This shows the police were more than ready to prosecute him. And yet they weren't able to. In the file, police complain of veiled threats from local Liberals. Smith himself is accused of pressurising witnesses to withdraw their statements. The then local MP, Jack McCann, even spoke to the Director of Public Prosecutions on Smith's behalf, and shortly afterwards, the case was dropped. So the police file, for all its detail and conviction, was marked NFA, no further action, not in the public interest. Instead, it was locked away in a safe at Special Branch, which usually deals with national security. I could not understand at the time why a criminal file should come into the Special Branch offices to be kept in a locked safe. The file didn't stay there long. Smith's political star was rising. We need honesty in politics today. Straight talking. A bit more of a Christian-like attitude and less of the slanging. In 1977, the Liberals were helping to keep the Labour government in power, and MI5 now took an interest in Smith's background. Tony Robinson took their call. We understand that you have a file on Mr Cyril Smith, the Liberal MP for Rochdale. Yes. We want that file sending down to this office this date by a special courier. So by now, Lancashire Police, Special Branch and MI5 all knew about the extensive allegations. The officer who first investigated Smith feels let down. People say the police didn't care and they weren't interested. Um, well, quite frankly, we did care and we were interested. But I'm afraid they were very powerful people 
making sure that we didn't succeed. And in Rochdale, the rumours about Smith finally found their way into print 10 years after the initial police investigation. This is when his Westminster colleagues were made aware of them. The Liberal Party leader, David Steele, was asked to comment. His office responded... It's not a very friendly gesture, publishing that. All he seems to have done is spank a few bare bottoms. Lord Steele says that he asked Smith about the allegations and accepted his denial of wrongdoing. Meanwhile, Smith had helped set up another institution in Rochdale, Knollview School. It's where, in a further echo of Savile, he also had the keys. And where, when he was eight, Chris Marshall became Smith's youngest known victim. They had the evidence to stop him, didn't they? They was given enough evidence, they knew what he was up to. Tonight comes further evidence of the scale of Smith's offending. In the last year, a major Met Police investigation has focused on a former hotel in south-west London, Elm Guesthouse, where during the 1980s a paedophile ring was reportedly active. After much speculation online, the Met Police have confirmed to us tonight that Cyril Smith was a visitor there. There's no suggestion that Smith's Westminster colleagues knew anything about these further allegations. The Liberal Democrats say they have no paperwork on Smith. And Lord Steele says he received no complaints against Smith when a Liberal MP. In 1988, again like Savile, Smith received a knighthood. His party leader would have been consulted. And when Smith died three years ago, senior colleagues paid rich tribute. But I think of him as a big-hearted man, uh, because in everything he did, he gave 105%. He really was, quite literally, a larger-than-life figure, and he will be sorely, sorely missed. People are now asking why so many opportunities were missed to stop Smith. Last year, the Lib Dem leader, Nick Clegg, said Smith should have been more thoroughly investigated at the time. But the solicitor working with Smith's victims says there are questions to answer. The victims, with justification, could be saying to the Liberals, hang on a minute, we were abused by your man. What are you going to do about it? The Liberal Democrats are already facing embarrassment after they were accused in a Channel 4 news report of sitting on complaints of sexual harassment against one of their most senior and powerful officers, Lord Renard. Now, those damaged by Sir Cyril Smith want recognition of who he really was. It could have been stopped, and we wouldn't be in this position where me and you are having this conversation about somebody that has destroyed probably hundreds of lives.